shut down the club, bitches show me love. Feet on the couch, feet on the couch. This is Feet on the Couch, I'm Miklo Benz, we're here with Bass Wizard, you know, Monarchy already, Diego Suegos, you already know, this is gonna be the Bass Wizard interview, and you know how we usually start these interviews off, like, I know, mm -hmm. I was looking, I was peeping you, you started producing about a year ago, right? Yeah. Yeah, about, about a year, a year ago. ago. So, to like start off the interview, we usually talk about how you got into music and stuff like that, but tell us a little bit about like how you grew up and stuff like that, like, first. Oh. Like, how was your upbringing? How was like, growing up and shit? Shit. It was crazy, bro. That's it. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Uh, Where'd you go to school and shit like that? Uh, I went to a school called Desert Air for a little bit. I was in the special ed because I have autism. So, like, yeah. And then I got into music. I started hearing Skrillex, and that's what made me want to, like, produce and shit. When, like, did, you, when did you first start getting into, like, music, like, like with Skrillex and shit like that? And yeah. listening to music. What was the first thing you like, listened to? 11. 11? 12. I was like, damn, what the fuck is this robot shit? <laughs> and I was like, this shit go hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was like, I want to make something like that. So I was like, not doing it. But I was just listening to it a lot. And then mm -hmm. eventually I was just like, man, I'm going to finally get a software. Mm -hmm. And yeah. You good? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> what kind of software do you use? Like I FL? Like FL. FL Studio. Nice, nice. And like, what was like the first thing you started producing on? Like the first laptop that you got or something like that? Uh, it was... It's... The laptop I have right now, it's like a Dell or some shit. Mm -hmm. It's fun. It, it's a piece of shit, though. <laughs> but it gets the job done, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, all, that's the important part, as long as yeah. the job gets done and shit. And yeah. I saw that you have one track one, one track out right now that you dropped in 2021, correct? Yeah. Yes, how, sir. And how was, like, leading up to, like, your first track and stuff like that? Like, how did you, like, breed your, like, sound and everything like that? Because I know you said you were listening to Skrillex, but what other artists inspired you, like, throughout, like, you first getting into music, because uh, I know you, you said it's been like a year yeah. that you've really been making music, but what are like the inspirations you've been listening to throughout like your years, like since 11, like starting to listen to Skrillex and what the fuck's this robot shit, bro? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Um, I eventually just like listened to like a lot of rap mm -hmm. and then I tried to interpret that to my sound because a lot of um, EDM these days, it's like dubstep and shit. Yeah. And it's cool. Like, I like those say, but it's just kind of being overdue now. They're kind of just forgetting about yeah. the importance of drums. Mm -hmm. That's not why I see it. Like, mm -hmm. I, I'm, like, really obsessed with drums, with, like, hip-hop drums and break, and that's why I put that shit in. That's where I found my style. I was like, yeah, it's, like, more hip-hop mm -hmm. shit. And then I started listening to this artist named Peekaboo, mm -hmm. and it just inspired the fuck out of me. And then now that's where it kind of set my fucking sound. And I was like, yo, I like this. I'm mm. inspired, you know. And then, yeah. Nice, nice, yeah. So, like, what kind of, like, producers, like, were you listening to? Because I know there's a fuckload of rap producers out there, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, what kind of beats were you, like, really inspired by? Like, or a specific one that, you, like, you said, Pete, uh, that one artist you were listening yeah. to. Uh, but, like, what was, like, one, like, like, like trap style drums? Or what was, like, the boom bad drums? Like, what, what style drums, like, like really inspired you, you know what I mean? Because like there's like a lot of producers that have different mm -hmm. styles. Like there's like Cashman AP beats, which are like higher, like mm -hmm. that. And then there's trap, like trap, trap, like TM88. You got yeah, like Ronnie yeah. J. You got like like different different people like that that make these hard ass shit. And I feel like your shit's like pretty hard. I listen to your yeah. shit; it's pretty dope, bro. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just uh, I just go. I'm I'm pretty stoned. What we were talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, bro. Um, but, just like. You know, like, where where did you get your style? Because I know you got, like, hard, like, like yeah. drum style. Like, you know, it goes hard. Like, it reminds me of, like, kind of, like, more back in the day, like, shit, like, secure, yeah. like, like, shit, like, when I used to go to raves, because I haven't gone to raves in years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, that shit, like, just knocks, like, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. like, what kind of, like, producers were, like, you inspired from that you were listening to, like, or rap songs, if you don't know, like, the producers yeah. was specifically on that? Uh, it was, like, it was... Other than Skrillex and all that, I was also listening to Wu Tang Clan and mm -hmm. Three Six Mafia. Oh, dope! So that's where a lot of that other sort of like horror shit, Jay, you know, like J yeah. Paul and all that. Yeah, they have like a horror vibe. So yeah, I try to interpret that into my sound too, which is what makes it unique. Like it makes I want like people to vision black and white when they hear my oh, music and shit. Good. 
or like a swirly thing like that like i don't know it's like a like some hypnotizing like yeah, swirly yeah, boy yeah, or something like that and they'll be like oh shit that's cool and i'm like yeah that's me that's, that's me that's my sound yeah dope dope oh, yeah and like right now like just a gear like to another question or something like that what do you think is like the state of like because you're in the edm scene at the moment mm. what do you think is like the state of the edm scene here in el paso at the moment uh, corrupt, corrupt. <laughs> yeah, corrupt. <laughs> Low key, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 People are gatekeeping. Yeah, <laughs> can't trust nobody. That's out here. You gotta, you gotta expand, bro. You gotta, yeah. You gotta do something else. Me. Um, I'm not sure if you know, but I'm about to move to San Antonio. Well, dope, dope. Um, I got some homies over there doing some yeah, yeah, yeah. doing rap and shit like that over there in San Antonio. Hell yeah. And I'm moving out there because the job offers so I can invest in my music, but I also have the connection shit set up already. Because mm -hmm. I'm not really trying to work with anybody here because everyone, I'm not going to say names, but... Like, yeah, yeah, you're just not vibing with the... No, nah, it, it doesn't feel like it's love for the music. It's for the money. For yeah. The, the tickets, the bitches, the drugs, right? <laughs> they fucking, they don't care. Yeah, they don't care yeah, about the art. Yeah, that's wrong. No, they don't care. They don't care about what who they're putting on. They're just like, man, oh, you sell me tickets or some shit like that. But there's those fucking low-key, good-ass producers like that are fucking, that can make millions of dollars, but they totally avoid that and would rather put on people that just sell tickets and yeah. shit that's all they tickets. just do it for the money and shit mm -hmm. instead of putting on the people that you know like, for your art like yeah. you're not getting put on your for your art you yeah exactly you're getting bullshit, put on to, like, yeah and i feel that i really do feel that yeah. i've tried to throw an edm show before like the first show feeling like couch ever three was actually like edm show uh -huh. and and it was crazy because like i thought there was mad love for like everything mm -hmm. but like you kind of realize like there's like some type of gatekeeping like with like the shows and everything yeah. like that, uh, you know? because you can like how monarchy did with like the party scene and shit like that like there's mm -hmm. mad love for djs in the party scene and shit yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 but yeah. like how you say they're also appreciated they're appreciated with the dj but they're not they also don't like go look up your art you know what i mean mm -hmm. go like yeah. fuck with your music support you heavy and all that shit like you yeah. know at the end of the day it's more for like a vibe and like mm -hmm. like selfishness like you know what i mean yeah. in that sense and what we're trying to do here is like for people to more understand your art and everything like that you know like yeah. what you're about and your vibe and everything like that i know you you said i think you're on, on your way to california or something right like or where are you going san antonio, san antonio. San antonio. Yeah. Yeah. i have my bad i i messed up <laughs> no, but um good. yeah san antonio so like what kind of job are you getting out there and stuff like that at the moment it's probably going to be something dealt with construction mm -hmm. but it's going to be temporary mm -hmm. i'm going to see how it goes it's not for sure but um as long as I have a good job out there and invest all of it into um, my social platforms and all of that. And uh, I have it all set up. Like, we'll do, I invest a lot into repost chains, which can mm -hmm. actually be really good because SoundCloud is probably the app that is the hardest to build followers. Yeah. On. So I have that shit kind of planned out. Just how I had shit planned out for my Instagram, mm -hmm. I have it planned out for my uh soundcloud is that i'm just gonna do a lot of repost chains and repost chains aren't necessarily bad it's just uh being reposted by other like big producers yeah and that's what it basically is so you somehow in the algorithm or whatever the fuck yeah you see that shit like maybe a big ass artist or mm -hmm. artist you're inspired by is going to see that in their or blog or shit. label or something uh, like that yeah you know, someone that's going to get your music out there yeah, like definitely a spotlight yeah, so, that's why, like, and I get the check mark and everything. That's the plan with SoundCloud now, because I kind of just grinded on Instagram first, and now I'm moving on to SoundCloud, because I kind of don't feel like I need to grind on my Instagram anymore that much. Mm -hmm. I think that would just come naturally after what I'm going to start doing with my SoundCloud and have the real followers from my music, like the people that heard my music first, not saw my Instagram first, Yeah, come and fucking fuck with me. So... That's the plan right there, and then, yeah. Wait, what were you we talking about? <laughs> no, no, it's all good. It's all good. Um, my next question is gonna be like, uh, what what kind of artists are you listening to right now, or like, are you constantly like playing like songs, like you know what I mean, like what's in your playlist, or what are um, you listening to currently at the moment? I listen to a lot of the weekend. <laughs> nice, like <laughs> the weekend. I always listen to. Oh, yeah, the weekend's dope, bro. Ever since I was little. 
don't know. I like. I don't like listening to EDM that much. Mm -hmm. But when I do, it would have to be the homies and Leo. This guy named Leo Tricks that that also fucks with my music. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, it's pretty much it. But other than that, I don't try to listen to EDM yeah. that much. You try to listen to other genres to get yeah. ins inspiration for yeah. other things, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. exactly. And then change up the game and shit. That's, that's yeah. the thing. Everybody, no offense, but like there's billions of producers now and you got to compete with that and just mm -hmm. come out with a sound that is fucking amazing because producers are fucking doing new shit every day. It's getting recognized and they're being put on labels for that shit. Oh yeah, producers are being signed every day. Yeah, and that's what I'm trying to be on. I'm not really trying to give a fuck about performing or anything. I just want to be on the label and making music. music. Well, not be on the label, but maybe label releases mm -hmm. and then the solo, just by myself, release on my own and shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what about you? So you know we're on the same shit. Yeah, same shit, <laughs> right, bro. Oh yeah, we're on our, we know our worth and shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah, yeah. some whole money team. Oh, what about yeah, you? Money, man. What about Diego? He's just looking at his belt and shit. He's just like, oh, damn, this shit shiny. He's just like, he's dumb as fuck. Yeah. Like, all eyes on wheels. Hell yeah, yeah, bro. And like, talking about the weekend and stuff. What are your, some of your favorite songs from the weekend? Oh shit. Me. <laughs> oh fuck. We're gonna have to go back. I'm about to say House like, of Balloons. House of Balloons, yeah. Mm -hmm. like, that's gonna be my Balloons favorite project from the weekend for real. Like, yeah. Uh, high for this. Uh, high for this is a good What You Need. But there's this one version of What You Need. It's called the unreleased version. Mm -hmm. And it's like acoustic. And that shit sounds so fucking fire. It's like way better than the original. Mm -hmm. Also, Alone Again is actually pretty good. Nothing compares after his new album. That shit fucking slaps, holy yeah. shit. That's what I was saying. Oh, fuck, it's dude. Called after Hours. Right? After, yeah, hours. after Hours. Holy oh, shit. Man. Dude. Dollars. The whole movie, like, have you guys watched, like, the whole, like, the yeah. whole visual, like, thing, like, it goes through everything? Yeah. Like, die, and then goes crazy. Oh, yeah. and shit like that. Like, yeah. Damn. The head, like, he has those, these bitches are, like, obsessed with his fucking head. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> he has a lot of subliminal messages on oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. It's crazy. I love it. That's what inspires me, bro. I'm just like, damn. That's, and then a lot of that style too, sometimes he gives me a vibe, like when you listen to After Hours, you think of like red and black. Mm -hmm. When my music, I try to interpret white and black. <clears throat> that's where it inspired me. I was like, that's what the color I want people to see with my music. And then with The weekend, he does it really fucking good. And everyone, you can feel like it's like red and black. You feel like everything's red and black with the weekend's music or just red like dark red and shit mm -hmm. and like some led shit huh yeah yeah for sure and all these colors it's like you know the red for his like album and shit and all these tux everything else i know okay. what you mean yeah no, i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just like, <laughs> what was he talking about in the last uh fucking meeting fucking aaron or something <laughs> you're really? like inspired by some guy Fuck for for what for which it, it was a, it was in your interview, Kazan? No, Little Texas. Little Texas? No, 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 no. Ooh, right. but, oh my god! I don't okay, go never mind. Never mind. All right, fuck. <laughs> all right. <laughs> shit, it'll come back up. Yeah, we'll it will right. come back. But yeah. So I know twenty twenty has been a crazy year for everybody. People have been locked in and shit like that. How was twenty twenty for you? Uh, it was negative. But then there was a positive, like what, um, before the pandemic and all that shit happened, I was just kind of thinking about playing shows, which wasn't on the right track and then no shows, which means I have to like pay attention to my sound design and producing and stuff while this mm -hmm. pandemic started happening. So that's positive side. I look at that. It helped me improve a lot into producing because there was no more pr like performing None of that other side mm -hmm. shit, like just straight fucking all gas is fucking going in. Oh yeah, just getting the work done. Yeah. Like that, getting grinding. Yeah. That's and dope. taking dope. classes. I took some like free classes. I just, I, I just went full on grind and mm -hmm. I saw a lot of progress. People saw progress. 
I saw progress as well, and which was really good, and and I'm pretty much there. What were we talking about again? Oh, it's just how 2020 was. Yo, you know, yeah. It's been a crazy year. Like, everybody was locked in and shit like that. And yeah. Like, pandemic's still going on and shit like that. But luckily, we going out and coming out the end of yeah, that shit yeah. already. Sort of. Right. <laughs> so, 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 yeah. It's yeah. coming. It's coming. It's, it's coming. coming. Oh, yeah. yeah. Was, you can get back to doing doing everything, going yeah. full-blown, like, with everything. Yeah. And I know you talked a little bit about your plans, like, moving to San Antonio and stuff like that. but And, like, how you're going to go about social media and, like, transferring your followers that actually like are just listening to your music first and something like that mm-hmm. what are your plans for 2021 as like for base wizard as a brand as like an artist and everything like that i want to start a low-key clothing brand mm-hmm. i had some uh, good ideas because i have a uh, like um you know those masks it's like laughter and then after mm-hmm. type of mask where it's like a sad one to have yeah one. that's like what like my logo basically and then just base wizard but i was thinking of like Base wizard and one of the masks right here, right here, one sleeve or short sleeve. Like I was just a bunch of ideas to come in, and because I had ten k and I was like, I should start a a fucking clothing brand. Fuck it, mm-hmm. like I think I can make some money for this and put it towards my producing and stuff, and just keep going up from there. The more improvement in the clothing brand, the improvement in producing, because the more I invest into it, you know. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Mess. Nice, nice. And speaking about like going back to your music and stuff like that, how's your like workflow like start to finish a song? Like when you start like just like getting into a song or stuff like that, do you look for a sample? Do you create the like melody yourself? Like or what what do you start off with? Like drums. Drums. I drums love straight drums. up. Yeah. Drums. Hi hat shakers, kicks. I use shakers and stuff like that. Shakers, yeah. The vocals, I love vocals, pretty vocals in that. Mm-hmm. Um, I love fucking with snares, all that shit. It's just fun. It's fun to me. I have to start with a... There, I see a, a lot of people do like other sort of shit, like start with melodies. Mm-hmm. For me, I'm just like, fuck, I gotta start with the drums. Mm-hmm. And I just throw a little sound Get the bounce there. already in that yeah. shit. Yeah, because drums is like the most... What I hear is the most important thing in fucking music. Like, it's oh, yeah. the most important thing. Yeah, man. What the fuck you did? What the fuck you doing, bro? Was nah, you was, was playing games, dog. That was a quick ad. Yeah, so, I'm so fucking. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> what about you, Rowdy? All right. I also want to clarify. I don't have the coronavirus. I'm just coughing because I smoke. So excuse this cough. <clears throat> Not coronavirus. I sounded COVID. Yeah, <laughs> no, it did sound COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, so you're talking about like how you start off with the drums and stuff like mm-hmm. that, and then you'll build off of there. Um, yeah. Like, how do you get like your mixing and mastering done and all that stuff? Because I know you're like your own producer and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Do you have like engineer, like homies or stuff like that, or do you do it yourself? Um, I do it myself. I had help for a bit, like from my homie Foba, this guy. Um, a, a lot of uh, feedback streams too. I used to. Well, I still do join a lot of streams where, like, DJs just kind of, like, listen to your music. They're more higher. And no, they're higher tier artists. Yeah. They're already up there. They're already up there. They're higher. And they already got their shit. And they'll tell you straight up how it is. So I just kept sending shit in. I'll tell them to roast it. I'm like, yo, roast this shit. Like, fucking go off on it. And then they just start roasting. And then more progress, progress, progress. And then that's what helped me a lot, too. As well as feedback streams. Yeah, like constructive Sticky. criticism and everything yeah. like that. That's and dope. Make sure they're harsh too. Make sure shit. it's brutally honest. Yeah, brutally honest. Just smack it down. If not, then you're going to be on this fucking train where like, oh, they're telling you, oh yeah, it's, it's good. good. And you're but, doing the wrong thing. Yeah, and then you're just going to continue doing that bullshit. Mm-hmm. That's what I was doing for a little bit. And then I started like, you know what? I am doing shit wrong. My music's ass. And then I started just fucking going at it. But yeah. Dope, dope. Yeah. Are there any, like, dream collabs you have, like, in the future? 
like with any artist that you've looked up to i know it's probably skrillex he's, yeah. he said that like you know the weekend of course probably yeah that was sick. <laughs> but are there any other besides, besides those two artists that we talked about already um like dream collabs or anybody that you'd want to collab with even someone that you're like damn they make dope music maybe they don't got like the light in in the moment or stuff like yeah. that what are people that you want to collaborate with Eesh. Mm. That's a good one. Who do I want to collab with? Other than like the people I look up to, like Pink Boo and Skrillex, The Weeknd. They feel somewhere more um, underground. I'll say Skepta in the mm. UK, like that rapper, I think. Yeah, Skepta. Skepta's he, fun. He, dude, his fucking vocals are amazing. I would love to collab with him uh, because I think eventually the style of my music. It's gonna go into rap. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be weird, but it's gonna it's gonna work. I know it's gonna work because it's gonna be hard. Oh yeah. But yeah. Um. Who else? Skip that. I'd say Getter. No. Yeah. Yeah. Getter is really good. Maybe even Suicide Boys. That would be pretty sick. Cause they have a they brought a new style of producing into the game, and like a vibe. Should be yeah. Sick. Yeah, they did like a lot of three six sampling and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, three six you know, sampling. That was like a whole vibe at the time. You know, a lot of people were sampling three six, and even before that, like there was like Raider Clan sampling three six and shit yeah. like that. Like you know, what I mean, that whole vibe like in Florida at the moment. Yeah, and they were from like New Orleans and shit like that, but still like the mm. whole thing. Yeah. Um, just think anything else? Um, yeah, I kind of lost my train of thought. Y'all got any questions y'all want me to ask? No. I, want, I, I definitely want to get everything you want, you want, Wizard, like, on the yeah, show. Yeah, like, whatever you want. Anything want. you All want right. to ask, like, for real, for real. I always ask this question, like, in the okay. interviews, just to get, just to make sure mm -hmm. I get everything the art, like, artists want. Because this is for your fans, you know? Yeah. This is literally, like, not, like, I really don't care, like, if it, like, blows up your feet on the couch or anything like that. This is purely for fans to get to know you mm -hmm. and to understand your art better, you know what I mean? Yeah. In order to relate to you better and understand where you're coming from when you make your sound and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, shit. So this is, like, what I would want the fans to know or some shit. Yeah, maybe, okay. like, a message to your fans or something. I don't know. Um. <sighs> Damn. Damn. Dress how you want. Dress how Fuck you fucking want. That's my message. That's that's a lot with my message as an artist as well. I'm into fashion and throughout my life I always been like fucking put down for being feminine and wearing like girly shit or whatever or doing girly shit and then I eventually like stopped doing that shit to be some someone else. But now I'm coming back to it and now it's more accepted into like the world and shit. It's like mm -hmm. all that fashion shit with being feminine. That's just my message. Dress how you want or do whatever the fuck you want. Don't give a fuck. Please don't give a fuck. Wear whatever you want. And and it's really good for um social platforms in general too because it does get me like new people i have like new connections now to the world of like the uk and shit like that like people really fuck with my message and stuff like that and i think that's really cool um i'm glad i could do that for people to help people get out of their shell to start dressing out wherever the fuck it doesn't have to be specifically dress feminine like you can fucking dress whatever you want. Like, that's the point. And if people are going to judge it, that's what's weird now. That's what I want to show people is that when people judge, that's what's weird. You judge people judging. Yeah. 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 That's dope. Yeah. 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 I fuck with that. That's what I want to tell the people. So, it's that. Judge the people that judge. Not what they're judging at. You know? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's nice. dope. Yeah. Dope, dope. Yeah, I'm really high then. Oh, I'm really talking about stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking dope. into it, yeah. Oh, yeah, I fuck with that shit. Yeah. Where can people, like, find your music? I know, like, I looked at, I looked you up and stuff like that, but, like, mm -hmm. for the fans that don't know and stuff like that or that are watching this interview from my um, channel and stuff, where can they find your music and stuff like that? Link in my bio on Instagram. Go on my Instagram first, and then link in bio. See what you fuck with, and then, yeah.
Super Too Far Good, because that link will take you to all of it. SoundCloud, iTunes. Um, I think I'm on Deezer as well, Google Play. Um, I just released, I, I recently deleted a lot of my old music. Mm -hmm. I know it's good to leave your old music to show the progression, but for me, I thought, I found like a new sound and that's where I was just like, okay, I want, I want this. I don't want no more of this. Yeah. So I just stick with that. So I only have one song released right now, but it's one of my most successful songs at the moment. It's like a lot of um, big names. Um, it's even being played live. No, um, oh yeah. A lot of people yeah. fuck with yeah. it. I got that's, a that's bunch of connections with uh, other producers, big at a name. Um, maybe producers that have connections to labels such as By Gore, Wakan, all that shit. So, and that's where I'm trying to go to. And it's just one of those labels and release on there. That's the plan right now. And yeah, dope, dope. And how has life been currently for you? Like, everyday life, like, just for you, like, how has everyday life in Base Wizard? Fuck! No, I'm just playing. <laughs> no, but, um, <laughs> it's been, uh, it's been, like, confusing as in, like, what I'm gonna do. Like, I, I took this year to really think where the direction is going with like my career, like where do I want to go? How am I going to receive what I do? Like if, if I keep going this or this route, this route, leaving certain places and shit like that, certain groups, all that shit. I was just like, where do I have to like do? So it was just a year of just planning and planning. Mm -hmm. And honestly, to me, that's most important is just planning shit for a good while. And then you get it done. Because that, that makes sure, that keeps me organized what I got down the road to think and shit. Mm -hmm. And then just to keep going, most importantly, yeah. Dope, dope. And mm -hmm. you know, I know you're talking about fashion and stuff like that. What what are some of your inspirations for fashion? Or what are some things that you've looked at over the years that like inspired you to like adopt your style? You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. everybody has inspirations or things they've seen, you know what I mean? Like, or like you came up with yourself, like all yourself, like I don't know. I just want to, like, understand, like, you said, like, about fashion and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Um, damn. I would say Johnny Depp. I fuck with Johnny Depp. The weekend. <laughs> nope. You're on your fucking phone, Jesse? What the fuck you doing? <laughs> you know what I'm doing? No, what the fuck? Bro, he's... Talk me. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Bro, he's working <laughs> the Instagram <laughs> algorithm, bro. Exactly. He's Shut up. Facebook's up for that, but he's going to see me on yeah. top. I'll um, see you on top, though. Mm-hmm. Now to continue this shit. What was I talking about? Alright, uh, we're talking about like, um, what are some of your inspirations? I know you talked about like, you were really, that you were into fashion and stuff oh, like that. Yeah. What are some of your inspirations in fashion? Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp, Michael Jackson. I fuck with Michael Jackson. Um, just, um, I don't know. And a lot of me. A Dumb. lot of me. That's most importantly. It's okay to like, be inspired, but you also gotta put you. Oh yeah, of course, of course. And put your own creativity and shit to your fashion. And then, yeah. Which mine is very basic, but that's whatever. Yeah. I know you got a Slipknot shirt on. Um, uh, what do you, What kind of bands do you listen to? Do you listen uh, to any bands? Oh, yeah. I listen to shit Little Metal since I was, like, little. Since I was, like... What kind of metal shit. did you listen to when you, like, were, like, when you were little, little? I was listening to Tool, System of a Down... Uh, Metallica, Pantera, um, a lot of those fucking bands. Just a very old, a lot of old, old shit. Mm -hmm. There's Corn. I was listening to Corn. Um, I was listening to Ice Cube. There was a lot of rap. There was, that's when Three Six Mafia. I was like literally, like born listening to that shit just growing up. Mm -hmm. And then shit, what else was I listening to? And then eventually it made me lead to like listening to more modern bands like Suicide Silence, Slipknot. Slipknot's not that modern, but um shit, who else do I listen to? Uh Rings of Saturn, um, Bring Me the Horizon, Weissman. Shit. It's a lot of fucking <laughs> Holy no, shit. Yeah. Blink 182. Oh, I do not like Blink 182. That's one thing you gotta know about me. 
No hate to Blink-182. I just don't like music. That's no hate, though. Like, there's gonna people, be people that don't like music. Yeah. Yeah. But Blink-182, I'm sorry, bro. It, that ain't it, Chief. <laughs> for me, for me, for other people, yeah, yeah, but not for me, no. Or Green Day, I'm sorry, Green Day fans, I'm sorry, it just never did it for me. Just ain't your vibe. It just ain't my vibe, you know. I'm, I'm sorry, all right. Um, and yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> how I just end everything, and yeah, just like end all my fucking sentences and shit like that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Cool, cool. <laughs> and, and you know, we got Monarchy and Diego Spoilers here. How'd y'all, how'd y'all meet each other? How, what's uh, that story? I met this guy at a party that they were fucking throwing. That shit was crazy. <laughs> and then I met this guy in like 2016 at a rave. And I was performing, I think. Was, was it that time? Yeah, it, it was, was for, for It was for oh, Parkour. Yeah, I remember now. I was like, wait, what the fuck? What it's for Parkour. I was mm-hmm. like, oh, God, I remember. <laughs> oh, we're throwing a warehouse party. Yeah. And fucking, uh, what, what was it? Fucking, you're like, uh, that we, we were looking for someone to open up and shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and I was Jess like, was like did, 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 did Jess hit you up? No, I think it was did you. you. Think, I, no, you're not goddamn because I didn't know no GJs whatsoever. Yeah, no, I think you it was you. I are you getting? Are you getting? Where are you getting this confused? Are you getting this confused with? Because how did Wizard open up for the show? Wiz didn't open up for a show. Though. Yeah, for ours, it was at Lotus. Remember? No, that was that. Oh, you just pulled up. Yeah, yeah, you just pulled up. Oh, I was like, oh. oh. <laughs> He was there, like, he was there to, yeah, like, he was there on the stage with us turning up with, like, chicks and shit on the <laughs> side and shit. It was a lit ass fucking that. Yeah, yeah, but now, our homie Thao was fucking opening yeah, up for us to shout out Thao and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We just had just yeah, a, was a special guest for our yeah. VIP list and shit. Yeah, yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, but either way, before that, uh, this fool, like, mm-hmm. I'm, uh, he was DJing. He was opening up with this one act before the Bass Wizard, Wizard Project. <laughs> Wizard. <laughs> No, nah, but uh, I had met him like after that throughout like oh like the local scene like I mentioned before in my like stage. <laughs> oh yeah, this fucker was just so, <laughs> was when you go on stage. I was like, he must have been performing. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, bro. Was fucking going crazy. Oh yeah, yeah, I used to be in a like what he's talking about is how we met is like I I used to be in a group with some other guy. I'm not gonna say his name, but um, it's a. Uh, it used to be a fucking group called Retric, which is dead now, and it's gone. It's not even here anymore, so I can talk about it. It's, like, literally dead. <laughs> so... Shit, six feet deep. Yeah, six feet deep. Right? No, no great digger. No, yeah. no, no casket either. Just, <laughs> six fucking, feet, just a hole, just, just like, uh, fuck uh, it. Uh, yeah, so, straight up. I used to be in it, and um, I... Left because I started producing and he wasn't producing at all. He just, he wasn't really working with me. He wasn't really, uh, he was just like. Just want to spin other people's music. Yeah. I knew the guy too. He was pretty selfish, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're not mentioning names. Yeah, yeah. He he just wanted to rely on other people's music to make it in the game. As in, like, just keep performing. That's all he cared about. And I was like, bro, but what about the labels? What about... What about like going around the world? Because like DJing ain't gonna get you nowhere. Oh yeah, no, hell no. Yeah, it's gonna get it's you not. clubs. Like yeah. you can play at clubs and shit like that. But and then you can get still you. be broken, you know? Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like um, well, not really. They get paid good, but like where I want to go, it's you like be an artist, I, yeah, I want to be an artist. I want to like, like just be known for travel playing the world. Other people's music. Exactly. Like no. There's a lot of DJs yeah. like that. I feel yeah. like, especially here in El Paso, that just like they yeah. don't really produce. You know what I mean? Yeah, they don't and. There, there is a lot of them too that do produce, yeah. but they never put them. There's put no them light on. on them, like I'm, there's no light. Yeah. Like they're, well, they're not even consistent. Yeah, no, that's true. That's that's yeah. another thing too that people have yeah. to be very consistent. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. There's yeah. not like, a lot of people that are about it, yeah. like about it, about it to like, like continue. Yeah, being I feel like every week is just a new artist. Like yeah. you don't have any room at all whatsoever. Oh yeah, to not be consistent. Exactly, especially like. It's one thing if you're taking, like, hiatus to work on a project or some shit like that, yeah. but you have to at least be consistent with your fans, like, on social media yeah, and exactly. shit like that. Yeah, you have to true. be interactive with people, you know, because, like, well, like, what I've learned from, like, social media is, like, you just have to be generically, like, active and, like, interacting with people mm-hmm. and, like, just giving data to that shit. Yeah, and literally, yeah. like, just response from that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's true. I That's what I try to do yeah. with a lot of uh, 
my sure people, enough. my followers, I always tell them that, like, yo, you ain't a follower, you a friend. It's like, you ain't no fucking number. What am I, the fucking government? Hell nah, motherfucker. <laughs> You're my right. friend. Like, uh, I, I'm really into uh, social media management. Mm-hmm. And um, that's all I'm about is social media management. I taught this guy the ways, him yeah. the ways, too. People have their different yeah. techniques, though, and they can go that route, too. I just have my own technique. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I've been doing it for about a year. It's been doing me good. Like, my posts do very positive. They're really good. They're not, like, very negative or anything like that. And it sends a message yeah. through it all because there's a lot of people. So, yeah, a lot of people um, seeing that shit, I'm going to be sending a message to them. And it just spreads more, and then my name gets out there because I send a message. Like, oh, you hear about that guy just that doesn't care about okay. uh, what he wears and shit? They'll be like... Oh, who is that? That sounds pretty cool. And then they'll be like, you know what? Maybe I should start doing that shit. It's like, I like this bass wizard guy. It doesn't have to be like, oh, I follow him because of producer. Mm-hmm. It can be, I follow him because I like his message. I follow him because I think he looks cool or some shit like that. I don't have to be like, oh, no, you have to like my music. Like, yeah, no, it ain't like that. But yeah, it's pretty much it. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. what was I talking about? Um, We are just like, I believe we were talking about like how y'all met and then we branched off from there. I forgot actually yeah. what the question was. <laughs> yeah. It was just how we, uh, how everyone went. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. I think I've run out of questions. What, anything, anything, Aaron? Man, mm-hmm. I remember, yeah, I remember that night when I met Wiz, man. Fucking, he was getting straight ass, bro. He had like bitches calling him and they were like, get down here. Yeah, yeah they're like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> get down here. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I swear, yeah. I, was, like, I saw <laughs> We're just, you know, yeah, you know, the doing fuck thing. Yeah. You know, bro, what actually happened is this chick fucking made out with me. <laughs> she was like, hey, can we make oh, out? Yeah. And I was like, dope, bro. I was like, no. And I was like, why? <laughs> she was like, can we make out, though? I was like, no. She said, live a little. And I was like, no, bro, like, you're drunk. I was like, I'm not even that yeah, fucked up. And I was like, she just went, and then, and I was like, damn. <laughs> no, I'm saying that Tony Hawk, nah, he just kept making out with me. I was like, <laughs> no, I'm just saying that I was like, damn, it's like a pure like Miller Lite shit, bro. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. I was like, oh, I was like, bro, I was like, bro, I was trying to have a good night, what the fuck? Like, she was cute. She was cute, but like she was intoxicated, so I was just like, "Nah, this ain't cool, man." I was nah, like, "Respect." Yeah, that, like, yeah, nah, nah, man. She's like, "Let's go," but she kind of just went, like, fucking, <laughs> I was like a fucking <laughs> frog ass mouth. <laughs> 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 a fucking frog. Yeah, no, man. This would be crazy. Yeah, nah. That's why I don't fuck with that many women out here in El Paso. No, most definitely. Yeah, most you gotta watch out. Up. And Las Cruces. Oh, oh no, bro. You oh. That. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no. No. Don't get me... St- oh, I gotta stand up. No, I'm just fine. No, fucking... <laughs> Dude, Las Cruces. Why? Las Cruces. Oh, well, yeah. No, no, no. no, no. Not Cruces. all of them. Not. There is some cool ones. I know... Hey, shout out to y'all. I know, I know there is cool-ass fucking Las Cruces girls. They're chill as fuck. Probably loyal and shit. I'm just saying the side that is uh, the whole side of Las Cruces. Holy the whole shit. side. <laughs> because these hoes are like camouflage, you know? Like, <laughs> they're just like, oh shit, I'm so loyal, like I'm so chill. Yeah, and then they end up fucking your friend and shit. You're just like, what the yeah. fuck? Some M&M shit. Oh, <laughs> snail shit. Yeah, slim shit. Slim shady shit, bro. Oh, like, what the fuck? Damn. That was a, like, that's savage, though. I give you all that, but fuck, bro. I just... Make sure that we spread that message. Watch out with the Las Cruces girl. But there's the cool ones. There's the cool ones. There's the cool ones. Shout out to Las Cruces. Yeah. Shout out to Las Cruces. I used to listen to like, They had dope parties when I was in college, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, Las Cruces is pretty fucking cool, though. I, used to, I think I used to live there. You think? Yeah. <laughs> I, I think I used to live there. Oh, oh shit. If I had Las Cruces home. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh fuck. I think I used to live there. Exposed. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Yeah, 
just watch out then. Watch out then, watch Chris. There's lower ones, there's lower ones everywhere. You just gotta, gotta find the diamond in the rough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then El Paso, the rough is pretty big, guys. So you gotta be You gotta dig a little. Why are you saying to me, guys? Too lost for you. I just can't. I got respect for all females out there. Y'all do your thing, I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do your thing, right? yeah, 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 yeah. That's, hey. your, that's your prerogative. <laughs> Bro, fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? Just this whole one part, just hoes talking about hoes. <laughs> Bro, they, like, this, is like, this is like the type of shit that I try to get like different segments. Like, you know, because I have the basic questions, but like, this is dope. Like, yeah, 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 this is like when you just... This is dope when like, we get into like side, sidebar like things and, and shit like that. I still Side taste bar. that Miller Lite to this day, though. Oh. I'm still on my, <laughs> I'm like, I can't be drinking no more. Oh, I hit my fucking You're elbow. like, nah, I can't, I can't <laughs> drink no Miller Lite. I see Miller Lite, and I just have flashbacks. Yeah, I just have flashbacks. I'm like, <laughs> oh. I'm like a frog and shit. Nah, no, I was like, I was looking at Mario, like, I was like, help. Help. Oh, no, I'm just funny. <laughs> Imagine fucking, what would you do if you saw that shit? Just like, Mario, can help. Bro, oh, I would have fucking helped you. Yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, I would have yeah, 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 Mr. Miyagi, you fucking immediately. Massive. Cobra Kai shit. Cobra Kai shit. Kai shit. <laughs> <laughs> There's no mercy, bro. <laughs> no fucking mercy. Just add it. Add that shit. Woo! Goddamn. Oh, Goddamn. Face was your interview. Yeah. Face was your interview. I know that, like, in this interview, I'm gonna look so fucking stupid. Because I'm, like, really hot. No, I, I, I can't I, look at the camera. I think I knew that from my I can't team, even, like,. Mean. Nah, I like can't even look at people. Don't worry, don't people. worry. Like, <laughs> you can see in the mirror. Yeah. Uh, and if if the viewers don't know, I, I move a lot. I know I do that shit. Hook it up, booga. Hook it up, booga. Yeah, I have ADHD and autism. They kind of have sex. I like they have fuck. ADHD. And then they make this thing where I'm just like. Just this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Um. I got a question from uh, one of our friends, producer homies, Drev. Um, he said, like, a good question was, like, he said, yo, do you ever feel like your autism helps you with music? I was like, oh, shit. I never fucking thought of that. Like, like it gives me super superpowers. Powers. Yeah. I was just super like, damn. Powers. Okay. I'm just like. No, yeah, I've seen him in the studio. <laughs> His workflow is crazy, bro. He yeah. just goes off like every so sound, like shit. bounces off whiz, and like yeah. it's like he just it, he crazy. knows when he's, he's in. He's in. Uh, yeah. He's activated and shit. Yeah, like literally, it's crazy. As fuck, bro. We gotta do like a yeah. our like production shit. How we get down and just doing some YouTube yeah. shit. For the hell yeah! Oh, hell yeah! Shit's dope. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Oh man, I don't even know what else to ask. Like, yes, I'm gay. No, I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. No, I'm that's the catch for yeah, us. Yeah, the catch. No, 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 put that as your uh, thumbnail. <laughs> like, yes, I'm gay. I'll give you some views. I'll give you some views. Yeah, that actually will. Yeah, yeah, that will actually. Yeah, I'll give you some views right there. He really, he, he did not say it. Yeah, <laughs> that shit. I uh, give you permission too, so hey. Just quotes. I'm gay. It's just crazy. It's an air quote right there on the right there on the dude, dude, like, oh shit. Just People just be just clicking that shit like, what? <laughs> yeah, so now you know viewers, you're clickbaited. Just clickbaited. <laughs> now you're, you were clickbaited just watching click this whole baited. video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just you just enjoyed 40 minutes of your life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You exactly. heard about some, some crazy shit about um New Mexico hoes, because... <laughs> oh, yeah. oh shit, my bad. <laughs> oh man, but uh, uh, yeah. what else? What else? Are there any other questions y'all got? I mean, you got that collab with Drev coming up or what? Hey, oh yeah, Drev. yeah. But anything, anything new you got coming Drev. out? Shit like that. Uh, Leo tricks. Oh yeah, oh, fucking bro. No cap. Yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> Leo, Leo, Leo mites too. Uh, Leo mites, yeah. yeah. I got Leo mites. I got a fucking collab or fucking Leo fucking Leo. Minecraft, Slenderman. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Nah, fucking <laughs> just random. Slender. X nah, X but for real, uh, who else? Um, nah, that's pretty much it. Drev, um, Leo tricks. Google Gaga. 
fuck with Gugu Gaga. No, I'm just kidding. That's just some shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, Lady Gaga. <laughs> Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Hey, hey, oh, Lady Gaga. Hey, I do most of Hey, Lady, Lady, Lady Gaga, Gaga goes hard. Yes. She kind of hot too. No, she is. Hot. She is hot. Most dead. Most dead. Like, who wouldn't smash? Like, exactly. That's late. It's Lady fucking Gaga. Yeah, it's Lady bro, Gaga. Bro. This bro, bro. Like, like, smash me. bro, like dead ass. Or who? Who else is that? I like. Lolita or some shit? Dua Lita? Dua Lipa, yeah. yeah she, oh, 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 yeah. Hard. I just heard her on the radio. She, she fine as fuck. Um, who else? Bella Hadid. Oh, yeah. Bella Bad Hadid. Bad as fuck. Ooh. What? I've heard that. Weird. What is that? That's the weekend's girl or old girl. I don't know what's going on. Does she have pink hair? No. Oh, okay. She, okay. she fine, though. She, she she's like a model or something. Her yeah. whole family like models and shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so I heard the name. But... She's a weekend's <laughs> lady, I think. Was it? I don't uh-huh. know. You, it's been up in the air for like a long time. Yeah, I don't know. yeah. Uh, shit. Damn. I'm just talking about like crushes. You know, this um, part's just the, the crush segments. Yeah, the crush segments. Um. Oh shit! I was about to say a crush, but. I forgot she follows me, so... See? No, no, no. No, See? no, no. no, no. <laughs> I can't. I can't. No, I'm kidding. Nah, I'm kidding. You're not saying that. Nah, because... That's scary. That's I'm scary because now she follows me, so... She didn't like, see the interview. Yeah. Like, I, I think I saw her on the GIF or some shit like that. Like, she's famous. And then I was just like, oh, damn, this shit's fine as fuck. So I just, like, friend requested her. And then um she accepted it. I was like, yo, what the fuck? I'm like, okay. I'm like, I'm not gonna push that though. Now look at her Instagram, she had like almost hundred K and I was like She's hanging out, you know who Franz is? No, I don't. Franz Franzilla? Franzilla. Franzilla. Franz. Franz. It's like he's like uh Franz. He's like some uh I don't know, he's a big public figure, like, he's really big. He has, like, millions of followers, too, and she's, like, friends with him. And, yeah. fucking, um, yeah. And I'm just like, damn, this girl's, like, a star, and she's, like, started following me. I was like, oh, shit. You're like, don't. Get, get used to it. I was it. like, what get the it, yeah. fuck? I was like, no fucking way. Yeah. And then, um, she started liking my shit, too, and I was like, damn. Spammed. Oh, like, shit. No, that, she didn't spam. Oh, she was oh. just like. Oh, like, I was like, like, I was like, <laughs> like <"Whoa." laughs> no, she was like, do, 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 do. I was like, damn, yeah, no, bro. I was, I was like, motherfucker. I was like, do, do, do. I was like, damn, I'm simping. I'm simping. I'm simping. I'm simping. I'm simping hard. I'm right? not bad, bro. I had to. But fucking. Um, but bad. she's also really cool because um, I hit her up for like advice for social platforms too because she's big. And I'm glad that I have her. Not as a just a connection, but like as a friend too, of course. But she gives me that connection of like what she does with her social platforms too, and what she does to like build her following. And I'm kind of like her little student karate kid shit. You know what I'm saying? For real, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's She's hardcore. This, this yeah, that's hardcore. shit. That is hardcore. So I just hashtags and quick. shit like that. I'm like, all right, I got you. You should do this and hook it up. Bopity bopity boo. And I'm like, yo, thanks. And then, yeah. But I, I can't say I can't say her on here because now she follows me. <laughs> so. I mean, you can say the name, but I'll, I'll put the bleep. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you put the bleep. I have that. Like, if you, if you watch the Seshpon interview, like, they mentioned like two yeah, people. I did. I, I did I see that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, saw that. I, was I, saw like, that. I was like, yeah. You know, I left that shit in. I was like, I was like yep. This, just bleep that name. It don't matter. I like <laughs> Okay. Her name is Baby. Oh, oh, beep. No, I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, everyone's reaction just be like, Baby. yeah, just like they're just gonna hear bleep and oh, yeah, put like, who the fuck out. was that? They're gonna be like, yeah. nah, I need to go see. They're gonna look through all your followers and shit. They're yeah, like, yeah, yeah, nah, who, who the fuck shit. is it? Nah, nah I wouldn't doubt it. Get some engagement and shit off that. Yeah, you're big. I would not doubt it. Yeah. I would not doubt it. <laughs> oh yeah. We no, all trying to figure it out, bro. <laughs> Fuck. Damn. You good, Flex? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You good, D Flex? Yeah. Good. All right. In the scene, though. I feel you. Yeah. Sim- 
I'm trying to collab with this guy, though. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm gonna get that shit. shit. It's crazy, though, man. Because fucking... Oh, I don't know how the fuck I would collab with some crazy dubstep. No, nah, I don't make dubstep, bro. Or that. Well, I don't even see because I'm, I'm uneducated with it. Yeah, 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 no, no, yeah, no, no, I'm no. uneducated as well. Like that's yeah. why I don't try to like put a genre because there's so many. Yeah. And I'm like, and when people tell me, I'm like, damn, bro, I'm like, I don't yeah. know, like I can't like yeah. remember all these. Like, like, I'm, like just right and, now, and it sounds like, like to me like something else. would be like, nah, it's like this subcategory. Yeah, like it's, it's yeah. like it's like oh, it's dubstep, nah, bro. But yeah. This is like the subcategory, like in the. Like, yeah. I was like, I can't keep up with like every week like y'all come up with some new like freeform yeah. beats. That's a, yeah. like would you say yeah. that's what your shit is? Yeah, mine is free free form. Free form. Oh, free form. Yeah, free free yeah, free 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 like peak the peak of I never heard of free form bass either. Yeah. First time hearing about it, you learn something new every yeah. day. Oh, yeah. That's some new shit. No, that ass, that freeform shit is some new shit for sure. Yeah, like, that's yeah. a new sound of like freeform bass trap. Yeah, yeah. I would say because that's what implements like that hip hop. Yeah, it's got like, beat like, thing like, with yeah the, trap drums and all that shit. Yeah, like, it's you know? very different. And then once you hear it live, it sounds way oh, better oh, because. Yeah. Yo, it's I've more, been I trying to place. fucking collab with like some Calvin Harris type DJ, bro. Oh shit! Yeah, I got you, bro. Castle. Castle, dude. Yeah, Castle, Castle. Shout out Castle, Castle. Really yeah, fucking good. Castle. Underrated. Oh, Castle, bro. Yeah. Shout out Castle, bro. Yeah, Castle, yeah, bro. if you could get down, bro. Hit me up. He can almost even make some funny Hit me up. Yeah, yeah, he can make some really good That's shit. That's what I need, bro. That's what I'm about. He's at the studio, that too. Alright, Castle, Castle, if you're watching, you already know. This is FL Gang. FL Gang. FL Studio. FL Studio. It's all we about. No Ableton. No logic, no fucking garage band. I used to use garage band. The trenches. I used to use garage band. I remember those days. I I remember the first time I was trying to make a. Bro, I even used to use garage band. Yeah, yeah, isn't that shit that like you can get on your iPad? Yeah, Yeah, dude, you have it on. It's on your phone. It's literally like, dude, you could get it everywhere, and it's free. Like if you buy an Apple product, so. Yeah. I think like a lot of I think Apple put on so many people to making music by oh, allowing yeah, people yeah. to even have GarageBand like the ability to record yourself even like on yeah like, like some people might shit. like talk shit about it but it has opened doors for people to yeah just up. it's introduced yeah. people to DAWs because yeah. like I went from like I remember I tried FL Studio at the beginning and then like I didn't really like it and then I went to like um I just like started like not making music after that for a while and then mm-hmm. I used GarageBand just to record because I was just recording mm-hmm. shit mm-hmm. and then like. Fucking after that I went to Logic and that shit is basically like if you know Garage Band, like Logic should like the layout of it should like Yeah, like, Logic hit, is pretty much hit like garage this. Band. It's Garage Band but it's like on, on like on, 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 on yeah, on yeah, roids. Yeah, 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 like on motherfucker roids. was there like like ten years on roids, yo like God, like, yeah. like <laughs> you, you try to do something that you could do on logic with garage band, you're just like you're gonna be sitting there for a minute. Like yeah. like trying to just do every little yeah. thing. Like, no, it's just not gonna I'm work. interested in logic though. I'm interested in other DAWs too. Yeah, for sure. I know yeah. Ableton has cool stuff. Cool yeah, I know. Um, I used to use Ableton yeah, a lot. Which one's the one which one's the one that, that we, we, we did with uh Slim K? Is that Ableton? Oh no, that was uh, Pro Tools. Pro Tools, yeah. Pro Tools. Oh yeah, yeah. Sure. Pro, Tools. Pro Tools is insane, bro. Pro Tools is on some other shit. That's, That's like pro professional tools. shit, like for real, for real. Pro Tools shit. <sighs> Be opening up a window for everything, bro. Like every little thing has its own window. Like you just pop open Pro Tools. Well, at least like the version that I tried at one point, like it just like pops up a little bar at the top, bro. And you have to like literally like open. Like a zan? It. Yeah, not like. You click those, <laughs> not, not like a Zam, but no, I'm saying like the bar, like like on a computer, like on a Mac and some shit. Like you click Pro Tools and like nothing pops up. Like there's no like program that just like interface that pops up. Like you have to open up like every little interface and it's it's yeah. dope. Like you can actually like get shit done. Like I guess yeah. their workflow, like you can program your workflow. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, and it can you can program it to like open up specific shit. I think like like templates. Like you can do that with Logic and FL mm-hmm. and stuff like that. I believe yeah. too. Yeah. That's crazy. That is crazy. That's yeah. true. I'm gonna look into that. Yeah. It's wow. edibles. I don't know how people do that shit. Bro, edibles don't even hit me, bro. I don't even know. That's what I don't, I be saying. I don't I'm understand. Immune. I'm immune. I'm immune too, bro. I don't understand it. They don't hit me, People bro. say What's that so those shit's go hard as fuck, no. and I'm like, I ate Dude, so I, many I brownies. Like beginners, they like, only hit bro. me the first... Like the first and second time I did them, bro, I'm like, yeah, for bro, sure. They only make me like, they don't even make me feel high. They just make me like feel tired as fuck. Like I'm just like, 
Yeah. Nah, fuck, no, I don't even like, get tired nah, of like, shit. Nah, like, I'm saying, like, the first time, bullshit. like, I would eat them, like, I would, I try to make, like, with two ounces of fucking fire-ass yeah. butter, I made a whole batch of brownies. Yeah. I remember me and my homies all ate them, and I remember, like, the only thing I felt was I was just tired as fuck, bro. Yeah. And now, like, I've eaten from, like, dispensaries in Colorado, California, mm -hmm. and I've gotten those thousand milligram yeah, bullshits, yeah, yeah, bro, yeah. and I'm sitting there, like, bro, why did I spend, like, $30 on this big-ass brownie? I was like, yo, I could have just bought, like, a Geowax or some shit and, like, yeah. dabbed and, like, gone high as fuck. But, yeah. No, yeah. I feel you, bro. I don't know what it is. I think it's just with some some people, it's a hit or miss. I've asked at the dispensary before, and, like, they're all like, yeah, like, it has something mm -hmm. to do with your body or something because, like, it's a hit or miss for people. Some people really get hit by edibles. Like, mm -hmm. I've had my homie, like, was throwing up, tripping one time, like, off of one of those space cake fucking big-ass brownies. Space cake. Yeah. Yeah. It was like a Holy two thousand milligram brownie, and he was like, "Oh yeah. I'm like, I'm gonna eat all this shit right now, like in one sitting." And he ate that shit, bro. And I was just like, "And and 30, 30 minutes later, bro, bro, it's tripping balls, yo." Like I was like, bro, bro, "I'm trying to be on, I'm trying, I'm trying to be on your level, bro." I'm like, bro, and like they tell me they're like, he's he's like, bro, like I was tripping so hard, bro. I had to go throw up and all this shit. I'm like. How, bro? Like, you're, you're talking like this is shrooms, bro. Like, bro, shrooms. I, I've eaten That's shrooms like a shitload up, of shrooms, bro. Yeah. I think most shrooms I've eaten like nine grams. Like, Damn, dude, I thought yeah, the floor bro. was lava, bro. Like, bro. bro, literally. Like, I stepped outside of the whip, and I guess, like, there was cracks in the ground and shit. And, like, the ground was just flowing like this. And I, I was like, man, that shit's like lava, bro. I need to stop looking at that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look in the sky, bro. And I'm seeing, like, lines connect the stars yeah. and shit, y'all. And I'm like, damn, bro. Like, fuck. <laughs> like, yeah, dude, it's crazy. Or, like, this yeah. popcorn ceiling, dude. This shit's like the Oh, yeah, the shit, popcorn. Bro. Dude, the shit will fucking go. Yeah, the popcorn will always fuck with you. Dude, that shit's bad. Man, we're a couple of high motherfuckers right now, dude. Right now, man. Oh, hey, dude. That's cool. That's cool. I support the marijuana. Oh, yes, man. <laughs> it helps me sleep, too. Like, sometimes I have, like, insomnia, too. And mm -hmm. I'm just like, I can't sleep and shit. And I'm like, man, get a little drink, smoke it, and then I get tired. And I'm like, all right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then he's like, yeah, well, yeah. you done. Just you done. out. I think it's, I think that's what uh, marijuana is really good for me though, for mm. sometimes. I mean, it, it depends on the strain. There's a strain where it makes me like sleepy, I believe. And then there's the other strain where it just makes me really dumb, but creative. I'm Eklo Benz. This has been Feel on Couch. This is the Base Wizard interview here with Monarchy and Diego Fuegos as well. Y'all go check Base Wizard out. All links will be in the description. And like the ads will be on like the Feel on the Couch thing. Y'all have a good day yeah. and shit. Shut down the club, bitch, just show me love. Feet on the couch, feet on the couch.